Not yet. There he is. Okay, now you can introduce us. This is Move Meditation Make a Difference. I'm Amber. That is Caius. <laughs> okay, head up to your room now, okay? Exactly. Okay. Everybody, I'm actually Amber, in case you were confused. Um, <laughs> welcome. I'm so glad you made it today. Today, um, our house is in dire need of sweeping, so we're going to do a workout with brooms or um, a mop. If you have a mop, like one of these like Swiffer type things, you can actually take, if you didn't know you could do this, you can take the handle off, some of them. Um, so you're going to do that. Or if you have a Joe, a Joe or something shorter, a dowel would work great. I'm going to leave this one here for Jesse. All right, so we're going to use them today. So you're going to start holding your, and I'm actually going to do it with the broom, just in case there's something that really obviously doesn't work with the broom, I'll realize it for any of you who are using your broom. I want to know if it really doesn't work. So you're just going to do a little bit of arm circle. So this will be the front half of the circle. So you're bringing, you're holding the broom, your arms are coming up and going as far as they can back and forward. Legs are nice and wide, comfortable. Arms go back and forward. I'm not sending my ribs way forward. I'm keeping my ribs right on top. So you might get your arms straight up to the ceiling and that's as far as you go. That's fine. You'll find that you go a little bit further as we do a few here. Reaching. We'll do a few more. Really opens the front of your chest. Two more, one. And then last one, two. Now, you're gonna let go and bring your broom down behind you and switch your hands over so your hands are in this direction. Right, is that right? Nope, that was wrong. You're gonna try and actually hold your hands. It's a little bit harder to get into in this position so that you can do that, this half. Now this one's actually terribly uncomfortable, so we're not gonna do it very much, but it gives you a different stretch through, yeah, and if, that's actually, Jesse just went into a better way. Start here, this is a better way to do it. Palms facing forward, hold your broom. Now you're gonna try to straighten your arms back behind you. Okay, do that again. Reaching back. And forward again, trying not to send your ribs forward, reaching back and forward one more time. And then you're just going to try to lift your arms a little bit, keeping them straight. So this may be a tiny range of motion. It may be very uncomfortable. You may just hang out here. Or Jesse has crazy um, flexible shoulders and he can do a full circle. So you might find that you have that. You might find that you don't. It's not really anything having to do with your personality or character. And then you can bend your elbows and come back. Okay, then we're gonna do a few squats just to warm ourselves up. Let's hold the broom straight out in front of you. This is just to help you imagine that your torso is staying straight forward, looking straight forward. Your arms are parallel to the floor as you go as low as you can. You can add a little bit of a pull. So pull your arms apart. You can't see me doing anything because it's isometric, but I'm pulling my arms apart and my broomstick is not gonna break. So you can't see that it's happening. But nice work, Grandma, you got this. This looks really good. Do two more. One. And two. Kathy good, and, and relax. Kathy and Lynn also look really good. Okay, so that was our quick warm up. You're going to come to full squats. So I'm gonna give you two options for the full squats. One would be to have your arms all the way up in position as if we were doing Olympic lifting and you were holding a very, very heavy broom up above your head. You get to put a little bit of pressure on it as you pull your arms away and down your back. If this position feels awful, keep doing what we were doing with your arms straight forward. But I encourage you to try this position 
And then you're gonna go down into your squat, keeping your arms going straight up. So it's gonna change what you feel in your chest as you go down. Secretly, I'm preparing you all for Olympic lifts. Not really, but Olympic lifts are cool. Those are the lifts that people do when crazy heavy. They're also called power lifts. Really, really heavy weights. We're gonna do four more. Dropping down, arms trying to stay up to the ceiling. Three more. Three. Two more. Last one. And come up. Good. We're only gonna do one exercise low today. And if you don't want to go to the floor, you can do this one standing, just standing in the lunge position. So grandma, feel free to do this one just standing in a lunge position. So right leg forward, left leg back, put the stick behind your head, and you're gonna have your hands rest on the stick. I think the Joe is not, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna square up so you can see me really square. I'm going to twist toward my front leg, not letting my front leg move. So you're finding really nice upper body twist. If you're standing, really stabilize your lower body so your pelvis doesn't go anywhere. The whole twist is happening above your pelvis. And it's very square. So your leg's not out wide in either version. It's straight in front of you. Okay, so then switch. So check yourself. If you're in the lunge position, make sure your leg is straight in front of you, not out to the side. That'll cause a different kind of a stretch. So make sure your leg is straight in front of you, and then you're gonna twist. You can do this standing also. Really stable toward bottom of your body. Twisting. Perhaps he's doing a great job. You're doing a great job, Carl. Twisting. Twisting. We'll do three more. You're really opening and twisting your upper thoracic spine. Two. And then one last one. Good, okay. Now I'm gonna stay low just so that you can see me, but you can come up to standing. So you're gonna reach your arms straight up to the sky like what we were just practicing. Now you're gonna pull as hard as you can out and down. So this is a lat exercise. And then press up as you pull out. So again, you can't really see. I'm working as hard as I possibly can, just like when we do the dish towel workout. And then go back up. Again, pulling down and out, and then pressing up, pulling out. We'll just do two more. Pulling out and down, pressing up, pulling out. One more time, pulling out, pushing, pulling down. I got my verbs confused. Pushing up and pulling out, and relax. Okay, now. We need to do some push-ups. So um, if you do your push-ups on the counter, you can start right in, do your push-ups on the counter. If you do your push-ups on the floor, you're gonna use your broom to help you figure out if you're keeping a square position. So, and if, <laughs> it may not stay, but you're just gonna try. So what your goal is, is to have the broom touch the back of your head, then your thoracic spine, like in between your shoulder blades, and your head, and you're gonna try to keep it touching your head as you lower down and lower up. So just try five that way. So keeping the stick touching your butt, your middle upper back, and your head. You're trying five that way. If you're doing it on the couch, don't do that, it'll just fall off. Just do your push-ups. Now you're gonna let your broom down, and you're gonna do one round of push-ups, at that same speed, with that same preciseness, but without your broom. So, ready? 
and go. Keeping your head in line. That's the big thing you learned, I hope. I can see a lot of people dropping sticks. A lot of people are dropping sticks and that's okay. But you can put your stick down now and just do some push-ups. Don't go too fast. Focus on the form. Keeping your head touching your now imaginary stick. Everybody do two more. And one more. And come up. Right. Now you can leave your stick. We're gonna do our 80% squats. So if you haven't learned the 80% squat before, you're gonna put 80% of your weight on your right leg. 20% of your weight on your left leg. You're gonna do a squat going as low as you can with almost all your weight on one leg. Now, you maybe can't go that far. Maybe you're going down only that far. That's great. You're just focusing your weight on one side. With this foot is still down, it's like a tripod on a, or a kickstand on a bike. Just do a few more going as low as you can. Try not to use anything to stabilize. One more. Now at the top, balance on that leg that's been working on your right leg. If you need to keep your foot close to the ground so you can catch yourself, otherwise you're just standing. This leg is tired. Notice how you have to work through your foot. Your foot and your ankle are adjusting to keep you balanced. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. So now you're on your left leg. 80% on your left leg, 20% on your right leg. It's just out to the side, a little bit wider than your hips. Drop down and come back up. Maybe you only go this far. That's okay. Go as far as is comfortable, as far as feels doable and you can maintain the form. Not letting your back curve right here to get lower. Keep a really straight back. Let's do five more. Five. Try to keep everything really square. Four, except for this kickstand. Liz and Elizabeth are going great. Three, Liz and Elizabeth are both looking great. Two, last one. Now you're gonna come up and you're gonna balance on the tired leg. Just notice what it feels like. Anchoring yourself down into the floor. Then anchor yourself down into the basement. And then if your kids play Minecraft, go all the way to the bedrock and find that. I mean, it's a real thing, so. You could go to the bedrock, even if you're not familiar with Minecraft. Holding here for 10 more seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We're going to do these, this whole sequence again, starting with your Olympic squats. So grab your broom, arms go up above your head. You're gonna go as low as you can comfortably. So maybe that's here. That's okay. Keep your arms really up high, pulling them apart as you drop down. Two, form. We're really focusing on form today. Three, four, five. Notice your knees. Don't let your knees do this. Maybe that means you don't go as far in order to keep them going forward or slightly out. Mara, you got this. We got two more. Drop down and up. One more. Drop down and up. Good. Release your arms. We're going to do, this is the one you can stay standing. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Lat pull downs. 
with your broom. I bet those of you who are familiar with lat pull downs never imagined you do it with a broom. So pulling down and out, thinking about the latissimus dorsi. My favorite description, keep going while I talk. The latissimus dorsi? Yes. From here to here. Imagine, <laughs> um, keep pulling down. Yes, that was a good description. And also, if you imagine Marilyn Monroe's low, low back dresses, that's kind of the line. That's kind of what was exposed on her was her latissimus dorsi. So imagine you're wearing one of those low back dresses and you can feel those muscles. We'll do two more, pulling out, pulling down. Now you're pressing up and pulling out. One more time, really good, Toya. Pulling out and down, and then pressing up, pulling out, and release. Okay, so your first five push-ups you're gonna try to do with your broom on your back, reminding you of where your positions are, right? So your goal is to have it touch your butt, your middle upper back, and your head. It should not touch your low back or behind your neck. So get into position, pay special attention to your head. Try for five push-ups in this position as low as you can comfortably go. Don't cheat with your head at the bottom. And the broom is actually an advantage in this particular exercise because it means it doesn't roll around. So it's okay if it falls. Don't worry about it. Now you're gonna let go of the broom or the Joe or the mop. And you're gonna try for 10 push-ups, whatever version works for you, but really notice Keep that imaginary broom and work on form so don't speed through them. As low as you can and as clean at the top as you can. I'm halfway. If you're going fast, then do some really, really, really slow ones. Everybody do one more. Awesome. Okay, coming to standing. 80% squats. Right leg has all your weight. Left leg well, has 20% of your weight. So do the math. Then you're gonna drop down as low as you can go and then come back up. Really feeling that right foot solid into the floor, your heel especially. Controlling it, try not to just drop down into a sit. Try to control through if there's a hard part. Control that spot. We're gonna do two more. One more. Jeff's doing a good job. Nice, Jeff. Straight. You're really keeping your back straight. Okay, switching. Oh, wait, balance. Balance on that foot. Send your energy down through your heel, spreading out your toes, and up out the top of your skull also. Find those two actions going in both directions. We'll balance for five. Four, it's okay to touch down if you need to. Three, two, one. Other side, 80% on your left leg, 20% on your right leg. Drop down, coming back up. Drop down and back up. Three, and back up. Keeping your back really straight for, I notice a tendency, I kind of want to go lower like that. Don't do it, because it's a leg exercise. It's actually also a back strengthener, which is the other reason you don't want to fold forward, because then you're not strengthening your back. Two more, lower down, and up. One more, lower down, and up. Balance here. One leg, tall through your hip, 
tall through your spine. Your foot's gonna move. That's how you find your balance. That's the joint proprioception, working to balance you in space. You may notice a difference on the two sides. That's really normal. I can feel that this side has a lot more work to do to stay balanced for me. My ankle's moving a lot more, sending energy down through your heel. And then come to both feet and we are done. Jesse's gonna do meditate now. You won't need your broom. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't need your broom. <clears throat> Okay, find your position, your favorite meditation position, and close your eyes. Let's take some deep breaths together, and let's just start with a breath that's slightly deeper than normal. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. You may still be winded, so allow yourself to catch your breath. And then we'll do another one. Ready? And inhale. Exhale. Recover. Another one, even deeper this time. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Recover. And this last one, we're going to inhale and exhale as much as we possibly can. Ready, set, inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Everything, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Even when you don't think you have any left, exhale a little bit more. And let the breath come in naturally. Okay, just breathe naturally now. Bring your attention to your breath. All your focus to your breath. So keep going. I'm going to play a little game. And the game is I'm going to say a word. Then you get to picture that word in your mind's eye as though it were the credits on a movie screen or something like that. It just <laughs> pops up right in front of you. And you get to pick the font, the color, how big it is. Keep breathing. First word, cloud. Steam. Wind. Mist. Rain.
lake. Wave. Earth. Rock. Hell. Statue. Mountain. Cloud. Let all the words go, return to your breath. Relax your body. No extra tension. One moderately large inhale and exhale together. Ready, go. Inhale. And exhale. Open your eyes. Thanks for meditating. Time for make a difference. All right. You want to say it? I can't remember. Oh, I remember. <laughs> In this moment, I have a really hard time remembering. <laughs> but I do remember it. Is. Okay. Today's make a difference is to think of who three of your heroes are. Um, so someone... I don't, I don't have to describe who a hero is. It, it might be Batman, but it might be... Might be somebody closer Somebody to you. closer in your actual sphere of influence. Um, and so then actually write them down. And if you want to write down why they're your hero... You could do it in the Facebook group. You could do it in the Facebook group. That would be super cool. Um, and, and then if there's someone, you know, if it's Batman, you can send Batman a letter or you could send one of your other heroes a note. And let them know they're important to you. But the first, the, the number one, make a difference, is think of three of your heroes and write them down. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All, All right. right. Thanks for joining, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye bye. Then I push leave. Okay. Not actually writing unless the. <laughs>